Hi guys, so today a very cool video where I'm gonna show you four or actually three tools I use um, basically for every type of niche research I do. <laughs> so you don't have to, the, the best thing about this video is that you don't have to pay for any of these tools as sometimes people like want crazy amount of money for for a subscription on a tool which is not even that good so when i was for example advertising um merch informer i know that this tool is super good and you can benefit from paying this subscription which is like only eight bucks a month but today um, this is the video for people who don't want to spend a single dollar on the niche research so let's go with the tools. So first tool, if you watch my videos, you are most likely familiar with it. It is called Bubble Spider. It is a great tool, free tool for finding a good niche and also for creating a great Redbubble tags. So here we've got a list of niches and if you are selling on Redbubble for quite a while, you should be actually familiar with this list of niches as it is taken from the very old Redbubble tool, I think. And this one was one of the first Redbubble niche research methods I used, yeah. It is super popular website. Um, it is called Redbubble Popular Tax, which shows you about, I guess, 10,000 trending phrases on Redbubble. So basically, you can see that this is a popularity, popularity change, and results, results change. And here you've got almost the same thing. It is a rank, trend, and competition. So these are the same thing with a different names. But what you, what you can do here is you can actually um, find all only the niches with a positive uh, trend. So that is that means that they got ranked higher on Redbubble searches. So for example, you can sort it by uh, trends change. And as you can see, these are the phrases that got recently like an incredible boost on Redbubble search results. You can also check the maximum uh, competition. So for example, what I always say, when you're just starting out in Redbubble, go below the 500, but then when you have already some sales, so for example, like 100, 200 sales, don't try to stick only with the super small niches as your shop has already the potential to rank in the more, more competitive niches. So right now I have one of my shops on almost 1000 sales and I always try to look for niches over 1000 results and below like two or 3000. So keep that in mind, a great tool. And also what I said at the beginning, there's like um, tag generator feature. So you basically uh, type any um, tag you want, any keyword you've just found uh, in this niche research and you can just simply generate like easily 50 tags. So for example, I type the word vegan here. I'm gonna click on find tags. And what you can see here after it's gonna load, it loaded perfect. So what you can see here is the list of 50 tags. Uh, you can, from the top 50 listing. So you can actually change that. You can, for example, select that you, you want only top 10 listings uh, to show up here. As you can see, it says found 180 tags. On the bubble, there is a maximum amount of 50 tags, but what I recommend go a bit lower, uh, use 30, 40 tags. Uh, Redbubble actually recommends using 15 tags, but to be honest, that is a bit too low. And when you have this list, you can simply click this little axis um, on the left of every keyword and it's gonna disappear and it's gonna be replaced with a new one. Yeah, so as you can see, you can generate up to 180 tags this tool has found. The second tool is called Top Bubble Index. And like, to be completely honest with you guys, I think very few people actually use this tool. And it's incredible, it is completely free. It is full of, also full of ads um, as this is a free one. So yeah, I, I think this is their way 
to, to earn money from the website. But what you can do here, you have this Redbubble tools section and you have Redbubble keywords research and you have also Redbubble tag generator and Redbubble trendy keywords. This is like unique tool as for example, when you go to Redbubble trending keywords, if you go here, you're gonna get the list of the trending keywords on Redbubble, as you can see also uh, with this results change. But what you have also here is the average monthly searches column, which are the monthly searches per month on Google. So really cool one. Um, also, you have a great Redbubble tag generator. And to be honest with you, Top Bubble Index has probably the best tag generator there is as the keywords are not so random and they very rarely are some tag spamming like it is incredible i think one of the best definitely top bubble index and bubble spider have one of the best um tags generator there are on the markets and the last tool i want to show you is quite a new one for me i saw this on one of some youtubers video that he started using this keyword planner for print on demand uh, platforms and it's working incredibly as you can see here you can actually create a free uh, account on keyword planner i'm gonna leave you the link down in the description where someone shows you how you can do it for free and how it works you can actually find a specific niche for redbubble or for any kind of pod website so let's go with this one so for example uh we're gonna go here and we're gonna go to popular keywords let's like really quickly sort it max competition to and um, 1200 let's go only with green ones so we have only the positive trends changes and from the highest um and what we can find it here uh, let's click on 100 let's find something quickly all right so for example this one books make you bright by the way you also have here this little button where is the number of the results for example you can click on that and it's going to show you and um, the results straight from the redbubble website you have books make you bright what we can do here is we can copy this phrase and paste it into google keyword planner so yeah we're just gonna click on get the results and as you can see for the united states english search and this specific keyword has average monthly searches from 10 to 100 so i always say 10 to 100 is good just keep the keywords which have monthly searches from 0 to 10 i think they are most likely not gonna um profit you very well but this one is okay so keyword planner really powerful tool as i think you as i think you don't have a chance to look on google searches with any other tool uh, for free so when we are looking on the google searches it's probably you won't find a better tool uh, than a tool from google itself yeah so uh, yeah, Keywords Planner definitely must be on your list of niche research tools. And guys, that is it. I hope you liked the video. All the tools are going to be in the description, so you can check it out uh, yourself. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day and bye bye.